wanted to get these. Okay. You don't want your whole big boat so no. you can squirt? No. Okay. Okay, everyone. Tonight, I'm going to show you guys our routine, our night routine. This is what happens if we even take baths. Honestly, I don't give the kids baths every night. I give them baths maybe every two or three days, especially in the summer when they swim like every day. Some people are probably freaking out about this right now, but it's just my style. They take baths in my room because it has the big tub in it. Our house is a disaster right now because I'm in the process of organizing the toys slash packing them away to move. So yeah, here is our nightly routine. You turn it on? I'm a mean mom. I'm not the kind of mom that like lets their kids splash all over the place. If they get water like on this side of the tub, it's like, no, no, no. Sometimes I feel like a mean mom, but I don't really care. I just don't like it. So here are some of the products I use. I've been using the Johnson's Baby Bedtime Bath ever since Porter was a baby. Um, and then as far as shampoo goes, I kind of want to find a cooler shampoo for the kids, but I always just get whatever I can find at the store while I'm there. I don't love this one. It's like weird, kind of like gelatin-esque. I always have to have bubbles. I am very pro bubbles. And this time around, we have a Spider-Man one. Last time it was... I think princesses, so. I'm totally one of those moms that gives into all of the like superheroes and princesses, like, I don't know. Some moms don't like to have those types of characters like taking over their house. And they don't take over my house, but I do have bubbles in the toys and things like that. Like, we don't have a whole bed set of Spider-Man or anything like that, but I don't know, maybe someday. No. Yeah, I think it's time to get cleaned up. You want to get cleaned up first? Yes, I always want to do it. You never want to get cleaned up first, you Girl. Water in my eyes, water in my eyes. It's really good. This girl right here. Um, if water gets in our eyes, it stinks. No, water doesn't sting you. <laughs> got it out of your eye. Yeah. What? Stop that. What? Um, I'm, I need help getting um, some, um, some of the shirt. Okay, you get your shorts and underwear and I'll help you with your shirt. I'll let you know when we're coming in. Are you picking your nose? No. <laughs> hey, where did Porter go? Hide. What? He's hiding somewhere? Oh, I forgot to say that part. Okay, now that everyone is washed and lotioned and dressed for bed and clean clothes, it's finally time for bed. Uh, actually, first we gotta brush our teeth, right? You okay? Uh -huh. Is your eyes still bugging you? Okay, my patience is like about to break with these two. Come on, Piper. So, as a family, we always say prayers at the end of the night. Sometimes it's meaningful and sometimes it's painful. Okay, amen. Whoa, what are you doing? Are you trying to climb into your bed? Please don't. So, honestly, I know that the doctors and parenting experts and everyone says to read your kids' books every night. Um, honestly, I don't. It's just something I work on and I want to do, but it just doesn't happen every night. And I want to be honest so that you parents who who don't always succeed at reading to your kids every night, um, if you're out there like me, you're not alone. Everyone doesn't read to their kids every night. It just is kind of impossible. So tonight's one of those nights where I'm choosing to not read to them. Actually, we did read this morning. We read some books this morning, which I kind of like reading in the morning. 
A lot of people also say that bath time like relaxes their children. I'd like to meet those children because bath times do not relax my children. Maybe like not in the moment, maybe like afterwards as they're in bed and they're smelling all the yummy smells that's like relaxing for them, but honestly, it really gets them riled up. <laughs> okay guys, that's all for tonight. Say, say good night to everybody. Good night, Piper. Okay, that's good, Porter. Knock, knock. Piper, say good night. Ah, I'm staying in here. Bye bye. Piper, say good night. I'm staying in here. What are you looking for? Oh, book. Okay, wanna put the book in your crib? No, 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 no. Where are you going? Away. Do you wanna put it in your? <laughs> You're going that way. No. Let's put it in your crib. One, two, three, go. <laughs> what? Oh, okay. Piper has to have usually a a book and a blankie in her crib. Lay down, please. <laughs> Good night, baby girl. Hi, Love you. Porter, your turn. Come on. Yeah, excuse my messy house. Honestly, like, it's not usually that clean. Anyway, but right now it's extra dirty. I have a light. Um, but that's just life. So, <gasps> cool. Porter has a glow stick tonight. Super awesome. And he has a night light that we like to use. It's a reading light. Oh yeah, because we let Porter, sometimes he likes to have a book to read at night. So we'll leave his little light on and he'll turn it off all by himself and go back to bed. Like a little angel baby. Ah! <laughs> okay. Can I? Put your fan on. Not, not, not yet if I'm reading. Okay, good night. Good night. Oh my goodness, so I didn't get all of the chaos in there, but... There was a lot of chaos. Ah. So anyway, that is our nightly routine. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys do different in your routines, what you like, what you don't like. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye.